Hi. Why don't you tell us what you're what you're doing? Uh, kind of a little something a little bit unconventional. I have a uh, golden eagle that came in last night uh, uh, from the Nevada Fish and Game. The eagle, there's nothing that appears to be broken, and it was hit by a car, and it's got some issues where. Um, the wings are working, the tail is working, the legs are working, the feet aren't working. And so I, I think we're dealing with uh, a spinal cord injury here that is, that is basically mostly uh, swelling within the, the spinal cord because everything else seems to be, be functioning, but it's, its feet are clenched in like this. And I can pull them open, but I cannot, but they can't, he can't use them. And I've done this in the past that has actually been successful. I don't know necessarily anybody else who has done this. What you see on the screen is a newspaper article that's more than 30 years old. This is long before the Southwest Wildlife Foundation was established when uh, Susan and I had our pet store and we were doing all of the wildlife rescue funded by our pet store and dog grooming shop. This eagle came in, it had been hit by a car, had some neurological issues, had a spinal cord. It's feet were paralyzed, but its legs and its wings were not, and neither was its tail. I got kind of a, a crazy idea that if I could get the eagle so that its feet would stay open, it would have a platform on which it could stand and walk instead of, instead of on, on the top of its knuckles where it was do doing damage to its feet. And so I came up with this... Um, what I thought was a, a really bright idea of making some some shoes that we would uh, pad up and tape to the eagle's feet. And, and so, you know, I, I thought this was quite unique. And, uh, and I've done this uh, a, a few other times. Uh, here's a video of a, of a juvenile bald eagle. Again, hit by a car, had some neurological issues. As you see, the wings are working fine, and and um, its legs are working. But we have that same issue where the the feet are are paralyzed themselves, and and of course, uh, you know, he's not happy. But look at those feet; how they're kind of clamped inward, and they won't open back up because of the neurological damage is done. And so this this is another one that's a candidate. Uh, for uh, my eagle shoes, um, and, and so in the process of doing this, um, after uh, a couple of days before we put the shoes on, we walked out to the chamber, and here he is. He actually uh, was able to fly across the chamber and stand on his on his feet without the shoes. So we actually didn't get to the point of, of making the shoes. Uh, we had everything prepared. That's um, the thin plywood. And we were gonna make a set of shoes for that eagle. Um, and so we're actually out in the chamber right now. And what we're in the process of doing is to measure the eagle's feet so that we can make the appropriate size shoes uh, and, and then get them padded up and taped onto the feet. And the great news is our, our eagle as I walked into the chamber, flew all the way across the chamber, landed on his feet, was able to walk, and so we didn't have to use the shoes. And so that was great news that we ha have this guy, he's now able to perch and stand, and he was able to make a full recovery and was able, able to be returned back to the wild. You know, th this was such a, a kind of a unique idea that I have never heard of anybody uh, developing any kind of, uh, of shoes or corrective footwear to, to deal with this kind of an issue. And uh, much to my surprise, uh, a, a wildlife rescue organization in Canada, uh, Mars Wildlife Rescue Center, um, we found their video doing very much the same thing as that we do. Their technique's a little bit different, which is, which is just fine. And, uh, and so, I'm not the only creative person when it comes to wildlife rescue. Most wildlife rescue organizations um, are very creative uh, because we're dealing with uh, oftentimes um, 
first time I- injuries that nobody's um, take has even thought about how to care for. And so let's go ahead and look at the at the Mars Wildlife Rescue. So this foot has uh, the birds is neurological and she's not opening one foot. She's quite depressed, so we're going to rush through this procedure. I'm going to stretch the leg out to disengage the talons, and Ben is going to try to put an apparatus in here. Okay, you're clear to grab center toe. Keep your hands out of grabbing range, and we'll see if this will hook. Go the duct tape. Yeah, you want to go. You can spread her toes out into the position of function. To under the tips of talons. Yep. That look alright? Yep. I will do that after the tape first. Yep. So around the talon and around the thing. It's not an old kind of cross, crisscross. Like that? Yeah. So you don't want to tape to her toe, you just want the talon and the metal. So we put that uh, we put the foot apparatus on and we'll stretch out her tendons for approximately 24 hours and we'll remove it tomorrow in the hopes that her foot stays in the position of function instead of knuckling. So she was essentially standing on her top. So from what we did yesterday, how the foot is now working again. I just want to say, you know, how much I appreciate, you know, uh, Mars Wildlife Rescue and everyone um, that uh, takes the time to help uh, these sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife. And and like I said, we all come up with our own uh, unique ideas and and uh, procedures, but the goal is always uh, let's let's fix what's broken and let's return it back to the wild. So thank you very much. Uh, Mars Wildlife Rescue. I'm just kind of drawing out some notches for the talons to come around. And so what I'm going going to do is I'm going to make two of these, one for each foot. Uh, this will be the, and we'll go from there. It started off using um, Scout's footprint as a template to begin with, because this eagle and Scout are, are similar in size. And, and as you can see, um, you know, this, this is the model aviation plywood that we use. You can see it's much, much thinner, much lighter weight. Uh, it's, and so it's, it's, it's a better process that, that we can use now. Uh, now, again, this is just a really, um, an experiment. There's, you know, this is not something that uh, I can guarantee is going to work. This is you know, this is kind of a, a last dish effort to, to make this proper. So that's what I'm going to do is uh, get this uh, going here. I have my little workshop down here in the basement that I do stuff on. So let's go see how that fits. All right. Hey, kiddo. Come here. Number two. Go, sweetie. Let's move it a little bit closer here. Right in here. That should work okay. Hey, my baby. Okay. As long as your head doesn't get in the way. I'm trying to keep it out of the way here. Okay. 
kind of get a idea what we're trying to accomplish here with this and I've got the talons are completely free and I'm going to slot down here so I can do tape around each toe so I can slot down there a little bit and uh, the front and back should be okay and really as long as you got the yeah okay hey sweetie I'm sorry, you've had tip it, a... Tip it both ways and see from the back side and your front side. What we're working on here to get that usable. Just just a, a light support to keep the, the foot open is what we're looking to accomplish here. Okay, go ahead and put him down. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, boy. It's okay. Sure, and I'll start making a second one. So you're going to make the new pattern. Yeah, I'll use that as my pattern. I just trace it out. Yeah, this is wonderful. Like I said, it's lightweight, it's plywood, it's strong, it's flexible. So it really okay. kind of works well. While you work on that, I'm going to run and get some gauze. Hey, babe. How you doing? Yeah. You're a little skinny. It's hard for you to eat when you don't have... You know, you'll stand, you poor thing. Okay. One. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Can you hold it? Alan, why you I'll hold back work on that.
elbows. Yeah, he was moving his elbows. Okay, just not the feet. He just couldn't move his feet. So there's one. It looks pretty good. Right there. Let's start with number two. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to be on your other side. Sure. Some sides with you. It's in my pocket. Oh, good. Good. Okay, sweetie. Come down. Now you get the top. Top one's going. Mm -hmm. You know, it would really make my day, kiddo, if you would grab my hand. Make me so happy. You're not going to, are you? That basically show that you've that you're healing, but uh, that's not going to happen. Well, you've had other eagles too. That it's been a while, and. When you, I remember you were about to make another pair of shoes for one, and the day you went out, it's like, oh, its feet are working. It just takes a little time for. It does. Okay, so that's, like I said, it's just a little bit of support to keep the, the feet open so that he will hopefully be able to stand. Go ahead and set him down, Susan. Let's see if you can stand on the ground. Oh, he moved one of them. Yep. And now he's going up on them. See, see, this is what we're trying to do. You can see now. He moved that foot. Yeah, well, he's standing. He's standing. He is standing on his feet because the toes are spread out where they're supposed to be. Hey, pretty boy. So he has a, has a chance. Yeah, let's go get him some, some lunch. Yeah. There you go. See, see, he can walk. Okay. Well, that part that part was a success. Let's uh, get him some food and, and see if we can uh, keep him alive long enough that his feet will heal. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Yes, you are. There you go. What a pretty boy. Let me turn around and see. Nope. Stay right where you're at. I don't have to chase you. Darn.
Okay, now. I caused too much trouble already. Okay. Now we get those feet. You're eating good, so the eating part isn't too much of a worry. We gotta get those feet to work. Okay? There we go. Why don't you bring him over here a little bit, Sue? See how he moves? Put the camera down? Yeah, put it. Okay, go ahead and just put him down. Yeah, just leave him alone. Okay, little one. Just like as I lie under him better. This is oh, oh, a lot going on, huh? Well, we can just go ahead and leave him. Kiddo, we've got a meal in you. You're all right. Got a lot more feeding to do. There you go. Yeah, get those feet under you. Yeah. Get those feet under you, sweetie. You're a good boy. There you go. Isn't that better? Isn't that better? Okay. Hello. Okay, a little doctor in time for you, kid. Gotcha. There's my kid. Okay, um, we're gonna put some orthopedic shoes back on the eagle to stretch out his feet. So I just do a little bit of uh, therapy here just to get the feet opened up. And what it was is the eagle was, was hit by a car and its feet have been paralyzed. The rest of him works fine, but the feet have been paralyzed. And I have had. Uh, I took the sh put the shoes on for about five days, and uh, after five days, there was a little bit of movement in the feet, uh, and so I took the shoes off for a few days, for a couple of days, just to give the foot a rest. And we're going to put them back on here, and uh, so just uh, making sure everything's still there and functioning yes that's my boy what a beautiful little boy huh okay hi kid i know it's okay let's see if we can get this stuff to should we start with this foot should we start with this foot sweetie just a little bit so you're not blocking your feet mm -hmm.
you, kiddo. Your shoes are back on for now. Take him and I'll take the camera down if you want to get the camera. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Hi, baby. Okay. Big funny feet. Yep. I'll walk over here and put him down and let him walk across the chamber. Ready, kiddo? Yeah, when it warms up, you can need a bath, get his tail cleaned up. Oh, there you go. Okay, lift it up. There you go. Yes, those are awkward to walk with. Anyway. You have to remember again. Yeah, he has to remember how to use them. He's, he's hopping and using them now. Yep. There you go. There you go. I'll come back in a little bit and feed you. Okay, well, another... Funny feet. ...little therapy session, so... See you later. Wildlife rescue, you have to be creative. With this process of making the shoes, I've, I've had some success. Some birds didn't make it, but we we try the best the best we can to to give everyone the, the best opportunity possible to heal up and to be released back to the wild. Sometimes as you're going through this, the neurological damages just don't heal, but you gave it your best shot. Our organization has a very high success ratio of release back to the wild. Because of everyone's help uh, and their donations, we have saved thousands and thousands of animals and returned them back to the wild. And so I just want to say thank you to everybody uh, for all that you've done uh, to help uh, the Enoch Wildlife Rescue Center and, and we'll continue taking care of the critters and go from there. Thank you so much.